On this week's Fairy Report, 73-year-old Raquel Welsh looks amazing. My favourite couture designer, Stefan Rowland, has some uh, red carpet time. I talk leggings and some of the things I'm loving this week. I'm just gonna take a one moment to scream. Because I just have been amazed at some of the dresses this week. I mean, first up, Raquel Welsh, 73 years old and she looks this good. How is it even possible? I know full well that she's got darts at the back of her neck holding everything in and she's probably got about four pairs of spanks on, but blimey. I mean, seriously, look how good this 73 year old looks. If I look this good at 73, I wish I did. Now, Li Bingbing, who is probably one of my favourite uh, Chinese actresses ever, just, I've never seen her anything of, it's just because she looks so good on the red carpet. Much like Fan Bingbing, and now I do have heard that they're not related at all, just the same name, coincidentally. Um, her first dress that I'm at, was absolutely loving this week is the Stefan Rowland, I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm never really sure. Um, spring. 2014 dress at the at the Transformer Shanghai premiere. It's this yellow number with ruffles and a little like sheer panel on to one side down the leg. She just looks gorgeous. I just love it. I mean, I know this is not to everyone's taste. I know there's a lot of people out there right now rolling their eyes, but I love glamour on a red carpet, and I think this serves glamour as does her next dress. I mean, this blows my mind. Gian Battista Valli. Um, at the Transformers New York premiere, it is just insane. I mean, I just want to put this on my wall with her in it and just frame her. I mean, she just looks absolutely gorgeous. Gren Wells here, um, she is wearing another Stefan Roland. I'm so pleased that this French couture designer is getting a lot of red carpet time because he is just like my ultimate. This is a spring, another spring 2014 look. Again, it's yellow. He loved yellow for, for this red car, for this uh, catwalk. And it's got like shattered glass effect on the peplum. I mean, this de the detail is amazing. The, if you don't know Gren, she's actually um, a screenwriter. She was here at her own film, The, red, the Road Within, sorry, um, New York screening. She just looks fantastic. Diane Kruger, um, she is another one of my all-time favourite girl crushes along with Kate Beckinsale. But here, she's wearing um, a crop and a, a pencil skirt that I don't, I, I don't love this, I don't particularly love this look ordinarily, but here, she does it so well. She executes every look so damn well. And she is working this look for all it's worth. I mean, the yellow shoes are great. More yellow, that's the third look now we've seen some yellow in it. She just looks great. It's got polka dots all over it. I think she just, she rocks it here. Um, Neves Alvarez, who I don't really know who she is, she's a Spanish model, and I mean, when I saw this, I literally like fainted. I'm not joking. I mean, I am joking, and I think I just outgave myself, but I just love this so much. It's just so gorgeous. It's elegant, it's sparkly, it's glamour, it's drama, it's Ellie Saab. Um, it's autumn winter 2014. She just looks. Stunning! I want this dress. I want this dress. My husband's gonna kill me for saying that. I want this dress. I wanna wear it around the house. So those are my best dress, if you didn't know. Um, just moving s just on to my worst dress. Um, there's two. Elle Fanning, who actually, a couple of weeks ago, was in my best dress list, but here she's in Alexander McQueen. It's fall 2014 um, at a Maleficent Jap the J uh, Japanese premiere. I know they're kind of like, trying to channel their characters in their red carpet. And I just think this drowns her. I mean, she's literally the color of milk anyway. And I'm not a fan of when people are this skin tone wearing something very close to matching said skin tone. Nicole Kidman does this the whole time. She just looks like a walking pint of milk, as does Elle Fanning, unfortunately. It drowns her. It literally, she's drowning in milk. Alexander McQueen milk she's drowning in. Um, Mel B, I mean, this woman is, Amazing, I love her. She's gonna, she, she, I just can imagine her on the X Factor just rocking it so much. But unfortunately, this head to toe leather look is not, not kind of winning me over. It's two tone navy leather, 
I feel hot talking about it, hot and restricted. She's, she must have smothered herself in Vaseline to get in this look. And don't be fooling me with those nude heels. You know how I love a nude heel. I don't, I'm not being fooled. On their own, they're amazing, but I just don't think it, it doesn't work. And this black and white thing, I mean, seriously, Mel, you are much more classy than this. This is not a good look. Repeat after me, it is not a good look. Don't do it again. Anyway, that's all from the best and worst dress of this week. That, ladies, is your very gay best friend. I'm here this week to talk about leggings. Now, come closer. Be closer. Be closer. No, not that close. I'm going to whisper you. You can wear leggings, but we don't want to see your ass. I mean, what? Is it with wearing leggings that are too sheer so we can see your whole bum? The whole bum. The whole bum and nothing but the bum. That's all we can see. I was, someone actually asked me the other day what I thought about leggings. And I kind of like, I'm denied. And I thought, actually, you can do leggings in a way that is, um, that is really nice and really amazing. Like Gwen Stefani here. She actually like wears a top that co just covers her bum and it's very nice. It looks amazing. Or Beyonce here where she's wearing printed leggings that look very glam and very like, you know, you can wear these on a night out. I just hate it when you see girls walking about and you can actually, the leggings are obviously cheap or they're just being stretched to their absolute limit and they're just not meant for public consumption. They're just not. Just wear them at home, not even to the gym, because I don't want to see a big sweaty bum in the gym. I just, you know, you just need to do it properly. I, and the worst of the worst of the worst is when you're on escalators in a train station. We've all been there. And all you can see in front of you is this great big moony because the leggings are too sheer and too cheap. It, that's what it comes down to, cheap leggings. Don't buy cheap. You can buy printed ones like Beyonce that look amazing. Or just cover your bum with like Gwen Stefani. I'm not saying you have to cover up anything. I'm just saying it's a way to work them so they don't show off thongs and bare bums and Bridget Jones knickers because it's not nice. Anyway, until next week. So the first thing I'm loving this week is this amazing Moroccan oil molding cream hair styling stuff. It's absolutely incredible. It smells amazing. It's a massive pot, which lasts, obviously lasts forever. Um, I've actually used it. Uh, quite a lot and it's absolutely I just love it it's a great styling product it helps me get my drew fro on I'm allowed to say that I'm Jewish before anyone you know complains um, everyone went mad over Moroccan oil in the past couple of years and I just think this is a great great product from them it's just brilliant so um, yeah go and get some um, also don't forget that Dolly Parton is on a Glastonbury tomorrow on su Sunday tomorrow and um, BBC are covering Glastonbury so you can watch her on, t on the TV because I do not do camping and I do not do mud and I do not do rain but I'm, so I'm not going to be there but I'm going to be watching like all you should too because she's absolutely incredible live and then the last thing that I'm absolutely loving is the Izzy Miyake men's spring 2014 2015 sorry show and um, all the shows are happening right now and Izzy Miyake was an absolute favorite of mine pineapples everywhere and the blue and white ombre was just gorgeous Absolutely loved everything, want everything, as usual, but can't afford anything. So, um, yeah, that's all I'm loving this week. Well, thanks for watching the Berry Report this week. I've just got to say that I'm wearing a Blood Brother t-shirt. It's absolutely amazing. I bought it in the Selfridges sale. And, um, yeah, just, you know, subscribe. <laughs> I just have to say that every week. Anyway, uh, until next week. <laughs>